Welcome to the future. Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba will soon be serving toys for the big boys via gigantic cat-shaped car vending machines. Here's how it works. Customers use the Alibaba app to scan a car they want to test and are asked by the system to pick a color, enter basic information, and take a selfie. At the automated car vending machine, facial recognition matches the customer with their car order, which is then dispatched from storage. Customers are given three days to test drive the vehicle, after which they can buy directly through the app or arrange to test drive a different model. The company is planning to open two facilities in January 2018, one in Shanghai and another in Nanjing. The service is limited to users who have a Sesame credit score of at least 700 and belong to the higher tiers of the Alibaba 88 membership program. To curb abuses, users can only test a model once with no more than five test drives within the first two months of signing up. Technology is making shopping so much easier. Amazon opens a grocery store that could be a job killer. Amazon is opening a grocery store in downtown Seattle early next year where customers can make their purchases without waiting in checkout lines. To make a purchase at the Amazon Go grocery store, one would need an Amazon account and a smartphone with the Amazon Go app. Customers are admitted into the store after opening their Amazon Go app and scanning it on the turnstiles. The app generates a QR code that logs the customer into the store's network and connects to the customer's Amazon account. This prevents shoplifting as the customer's identity is recognized and stored. The entire store is equipped with computer vision, sensor fusion, and deep learning technology. It can automatically detect when products are taken from the shelves and record them in virtual shopping carts. The products would be removed from the customer's virtual cart if they put them back on the shelves. When leaving the store, customers have to pass through turnstiles equipped with sensors that signal the app to calculate the cost of their purchases. Payments are then charged to the customer's Amazon account. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, about 3.4 million Americans work as cashiers. A consumer behavior research firm points out that Amazon's technology might wipe out 75% of typical grocery store staff. This cargo robot may become your best grocery shopping partner. Scooter manufacturer Vespa has created a robot that can follow you around and carry your things for you. Jita is 26 inches tall and can carry up to 40 pounds of cargo in its compartment. It can travel at bicycle-like speeds of up to 22 miles per hour. Users wear a white belt that is equipped with a forward-facing camera. Jita is connected to the belt by sensors. It relies on simultaneous localization and mapping technology, as well as the camera system to create a map of its surroundings. Jita can then make a trip to the same location by itself using the map that it created. The robot will be officially launched in the U.S. on February 2nd. Walmart develops self-driving shopping carts. Walmart received a patent last week for its self-driving shopping cart system. The shopping carts will be equipped with detachable motors with video cameras and sensors. Customers can request a cart using their smartphone. Supermarket employees usually have to round up abandoned carts. With the new system, the carts will be able to return to the docking station automatically. The carts can also be used to restock products that are low in stock. It is not yet known when or where the new system will be applied in Walmart supermarkets. Amazon submits patent for pay-by-selfie technology. The Seattle-based company has filed a patent application for technology that will soon allow customers to pay by taking a photo of themselves instead of keying in passwords. Amazon hopes to improve security for its users with the new technology. When a user logs into the Amazon app, after selecting their items for purchase, users will be asked to take a selfie, performing a requested action like blinking one eye. The app will then employ facial recognition software to confirm the user's identity in place of stored or re-entered passwords. The user's identity is then either rejected or confirmed. Only when confirmed can a purchase be completed. 
While Amazon concedes it's possible in some circumstances to trick the system with a two-dimensional image of a person, it expects the technology to improve security.